Hello, Penny Pickers. My name is Dehan, and welcome back to your number one place for all your investing needs. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the three penny stocks to buy right now that are currently trading under $3. So let's dive on in and check them on out, guys. So the first penny stock trading under $3 right now is going to be Color Star Technology, C-O-L-T-D. So Color Star may not be a familiar penny stock to some, but the company has seen more attention in the past few months than usual. The company is a provider of online and offline music and entertainment services in the U.S. and China. On its platform are celebrities and entertainers offer both educational and standard entertainment services. During the pandemic, the demand for these type of uh, services has shot up dramatically. This makes sense given that most people are at home and will remain that way for a f foreseeable future. Because of this, Color Star continues providing top-notch content for the long run. On Tuesday, February 16th, the company made an exciting announcement regarding some new film copyright acquisitions. Color Star acquired the rights to five films from well-known Asian film company. Now, the CEO of Color Star, Luke Liu, states that a big part of the company's future strat strategy will be to pr produce and acquire copyrights. Building a large portfolio of copyrights will create competitive advantages for us in the marketplace. Each year, the global profits bought by copyright ownership is in the hundreds of millions of dollars. Copyrights are assets that usually will not expire for long periods of time. They may be you know, continuously reprodu reproduced and generate strong reoccurring revenue. This is an interesting move for the company as most platforms tend to lean towards original content. With this copyright deal, the company aims to extend its reach and include more entertainment offering for its customers. Whether or not it succeeds in this regard remains to be seen. So far, however, the market has responded favorably to this news. Wow, it's a huge news, guys. And also, before we get into the chart, guys, on the right corner, you guys are going to see the ticker symbol for this company. You guys have been asking to see the ticker symbol on the screen. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, smash that like button. Let me know in the comments below that you appreciate me doing that. So, ticker symbol, CSCW. This one was up about 14.35% today, or about 16.5 cents per share. Currently trading at $1.31 per share. So, we saw it here for about three months you know, consolidating around this 50 cents area. Then we saw towards the end of 2020, volume pickup right here, had about 47 million shares traded. We even had days here of 64 million shares traded, but usually we're trading between three and 10, 15 million shares, depending on the day, obviously, and the news that comes out with it. But this stock has went from 50 cents all the way up here to highs of about $1.31 just in a matter of the past few months, which is huge news for us. I mean, almost 200% gain, about 160% gain just in a matter of a few months. So this is something that we like to see. Now we're hitting one of the previous resistance areas that we've had here once, twice, three times, which is going to be around this $1.25, $1.30 area. If it can break through this first resistance, then we continue to move all the way up to about $1.60 before hitting a little you know, rough patch. And then we continue to go all the way to about $2. Now, for this one, I'm going to give this one a price target of $2 per share, as I think that in the long run, it could definitely reach that $2 per share area. But we're obviously going to need more positive news. But the thing is, with the pandemic still roaring and still going in full swing, uh, you know, it's not going anywhere anytime soon. That means people are still going to continue to be inside, which means they're going to need these entertainment type of, you know, content. And especially with a company like this, Color Star Technologies, you know, they're trying to get all these copyrights so they can make more revenue and make more money because they get to keep these. Uh, you know, type of content for a long, long time. And if people are still, you know, staying inside their house and not being able to go outside, doing things from inside, this company is definitely going to continue to benefit as long as the Rona is here. So Color Star Technology, definitely a good one to keep on your radar, guys. Let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think about this one? As always, guys, I appreciate each and every one of you guys for viewing my videos. So go ahead and smash that like button for me. Let's aim for 350 plus likes in the first 24 hours of this video being up. We're almost at 20,000 subscribers. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Turn on that bell notification so you get notified every time we make a new video. Leave a comment below what penny stocks are you buying right now. If you guys want to sign up for Weeble, check the link in the description. Get your two free stocks when you sign up today. Also, we have a Patreon link for our Discord. If you guys join our Patreon, you get you know access to our Discord where we discuss penny stock runners and hot stocks right now. And the second penny stock trading under $3 right now is going to be 9 meters Biopharma Inc. So NMTR is the ticker symbol. This is going to be a penny stock that we've discussed in you know, a handful of times in the past few months. Since late January, shares of NMTR stock have jumped by almost 100% illustrating investors bullish sentiment in the biotech company so a lot of you guys and you know people in general love biotech companies so this is a biotech company so for some context uh, let's take a look at what nmtr does on a day-to-day -day basis in the past nine meters operated by producing an extensive range of pharmaceutical for gastroenterology settings and while it still does engage in this the company is currently uh, utilizing one of its drugs to potentially treat the rona 
Now the compound known as the known as Lerazotide is a novel type junction modulator and has uh, shown e efficacy in treating uh, lung d disease in the Rona 19 patients. Now, a few months ago, the company announced that it will be working with the European Biomedical Research Institute of Celerino to study the compound. Now, with positive results from a phase one study, the company is now working on a phase two three program for the Rona patients. Obviously, this is quite promising for the company, uh, given investors focus on the Rona related biotech firms that is booming right now because we need a cure. We need a way to solve this problem that we have, which is a huge problem worldwide. It's not like it's just one country, it's all the countries pretty much. So, meanwhile, the company is still working on its other drug research. A few weeks ago, the company released an update on the R&D of its drug for uh, treating short bowel syndrome or SBS. The drug in question is known as the NM-002 and can be used to treat orphan diseases and is currently in a phase two trial to treat SBS. This week, the company presents a corporate overview at the Bio CEO and Investors Conference. So with this one, ticker symbol NMTR, 9 meters, Biopharma. This one was up about 9.6% today, or about 19 cents per share, currently trading at $2.16. So this one's almost trading under $2. So we said $3, you know, these are going to be stocks under $3, but this one is almost under $2. So one thing we can see with this one is it's continued to move up since last year from that 50 cents area all the way to $2. So over 150%, no, actually, pardon me, over 300% gains in the past year or so. So over 300% since uh, the August area from 50 cents all the way to $2.16. So we see the stock continue to move up. Volume is actually very low, about 1 million shares traded uh, throughout you know 2020 every single day. We see volume is low. And then we see here uh, in the beginning of January, we saw some huge volume, 145 million shares traded. The stock went from 83 cents all the way up here to about $1.75. So 100% gain just in a matter of a day or so. Then we saw a pullback because the stock was overbought. So this happens a lot. You guys see these patterns in the charts over and over again. If a stock gets a little bit overbought like this, it tends to pull back. Sometimes it pulls back all the way where it was. Sometimes it pulls back a little bit. So this one almost pulled back to where it was, but it was still about 20 cents higher than where it was in the beginning. Then we saw it continuously move on up slowly throughout the next week or so with volume picking up. It went from that $1 range all the way to $2, another 100% move. So that's something we're always going to be on the lookout for. Whenever you see a stock get overbought, pulls back down, and then it continues to trend on up with volume and positive news, obviously, around the company. So definitely NMTR, one to keep on your radar. I'm going to give this one a price target of $3 per share, potentially $3.25, depending on what type of news comes out for the rest of 2021 with it. And last but not least, guys, the third penny stock trading under $3 right now is going to be Boar Drilling LTD. So Boar Drilling is another penny stock that has experienced heightened popularity due to its role in the energy industry. The company is a contractor for offshore oil and gas operations. Now, the company owns an extensive range of equipment that allows for the conducting of these large drilling operations. At the end of last year, the company stated that it held around 27 jack-up drilling rigs. One of the reasons that investors tend to like bore is its uh, correlation to the energy industry. As virus cases decline slowly, many traders are looking for options as things begin to open back up. If cases continue to trend on down and things open up, there's no doubt the demand for oil and gas will obviously go up as more travel is happening. So obviously, companies like Bohr feel the la lasting effects of the massive drop in the demand that occurred last year. A few weeks ago, the company announced a $46 million offering, so they needed to raise some capital right there. Fundraising methods like uh, these are very common right now in the energy industry, as well as the biotech industry, guys, as well. You guys know that. To whether the proverbial storm that the coronavirus brought and to sustain operations, it's obviously important to maintain ample cash. Thanks to the momentum and the oil and gas prices have experienced, bore shares have been uh, also benefiting. In light of this trend, will it continue the bullish move seen over the last couple of weeks? Let's take a look. So BORR is the ticker symbol. This one was up about 18.18% today, or about 24 cents per share. Currently trading at $1.56. We see here, you know, the coronavirus definitely brought this one down. It was trading at $4, came back down all the way to about 25 cents. So this company, you know, plummeted down. It plummeted down. If you were caught in that, that is a horrible position to have, in my opinion. So it slowly, you know, trended back up, trended back down throughout the rest of the year. It ended up the year, you know, almost at the same price. Then we continue to move up here with volume a little bit. 20, 30 million shares traded, hit a high of $1.20. Pulled back down. Now we're consolidating here at a previous level that we were at right here in the July time period. So we consolidated here around this $1 level and now we're starting to break out. So we're starting to break out. We see volume picking up 8 million shares right here, 14, 15 million shares. The stock went from 90 cents all the way to about almost a dollar and a half. So we're seeing it continue to move on up. 
what we're going to be looking for is obviously for the reopening of the whole economy and everything. So um, if it can continue to move on up, that's going to be a positive thing. So by the end of this year, if things continue to move positive, if we can fight this coronavirus, I'm going to give this one a price target of $2.50. I have, you know, huge potential for this one, especially if we start to open up. People are going to have to be, you know, traveling more. We need the oil and gas, obviously. So definitely a company that's going to be benefiting for this is going to be Bohr. So um, if you guys made it to the end of this video, usually at the end of the video, I go ahead and look at the three penny stocks we talked about or however many we talked about and I pick which one I think is going to be my favorite. So in this one, for this video, the favorite pick on this list, if I was going to trade it, which doesn't mean I'm going to trade it, this is just hypothetical. Let's just say I'm paper trading it on Webull. Get your two free stocks if you sign up with our link in the description. So paper trading means fake trading. I would take a 9 meters Biopharma, NMTR. I would definitely pick a company like 9 meters because, uh, you know, they jumped over 100%. And they have bullish sentiment for the company. So this company is battling the the Rona virus, which is a huge deal. They have you know their phase two three program for the Rona patients. They have this different things going on with the company. They have this phase two trial of the treat to, to treat the SBS. So they have multiple things going on with it. So as uh, the nine meters biopharma is the penny stock that I would pick if I was trading this personally myself. So guys, as always, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This is just for educational purposes. So before investing into any stock, especially penny stocks, speak to your financial advisor. Make sure you do your own due diligence. Make sure that it fits your criteria. If you guys want to sign up for Webull, get your two free stocks. Link in the description. Subscribe to the channel. Let's smash that like button. Let's aim for 350 likes or higher in the first 24 hours of this video being up. If you guys want to sign up for our Discord, go ahead and check out our Patreon to join that. As always, if you guys enjoyed, I hope to see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.